Over the past 30 years, educational technology has undergone remarkable transformations. In the early 1990s, computers began to be integrated into classrooms, primarily for basic computing and word processing. The advent of the internet in the mid-90s revolutionized access to information, leading to the rise of e-learning platforms and online resources. The 2000s saw the proliferation of interactive whiteboards, educational software, and the incorporation of mobile devices into learning environments. More recently, advancements in artificial technology, virtual reality, and adaptive learning technologies have further personalized and enhanced the educational experience making learning more engaging and accessible. Here at Teach Ahead, we are looking for ways to make education more effective and efficient in the 2020s and beyond. So in today's video, we are going to showcase 10 trends in educational technology that we are excited about. And while doing so, we are going to take note of a few possible benefits of these trends and a few potential drawbacks. So let's begin. Where better to start than with artificial intelligence in education? AI is revolutionizing how we learn by providing personalized learning paths and automating administrative tasks. For instance, recent studies by Exploding Topics have found that AI can reduce teachers' administrative workload by up to 20%. This allows more time for direct student interaction. One practical application is AI-driven tutoring systems, like Carnegie Learning's Mathia, which offer real-time feedback and adapt lessons to individual needs. A recent study found that students using AI tutors achieved a 30% higher improvement in test scores compared to those with traditional methods. So a few of the benefits of AI in education is that this personalized approach enhances learning efficiency and ensures that students get the support they need when they need it. However, there are concerns about the high cost of implementation and potential data privacy issues. Trend number two is VR or virtual reality learning. VR creates immersive learning environments from virtual field trips to simulated science experiments. Studies show that VR can increase student engagement and retention by 30% compared to traditional methods. For example, Google Expeditions allows students to explore historical sites and underwater ecosystems without even leaving the classroom. A study conducted by Stanford University revealed that students using VR for biology lessons retained information 25% better than those using textbooks. VR can make learning more engaging and memorable, offering experiences that would otherwise be impossible. But the high cost of VR equipment and potential issues like motion sickness are significant drawbacks. Trend number three is gamification in education. Gamification is making learning fun by incorporating game elements into education. A 2023 report noted that 67% of students found gamified courses more engaging than traditional coursework. And platforms like Kahoot and Duolingo are great examples of how gamification can boost motivation and engagement, leading to better retention of information. However, there's a risk of overemphasizing rewards over actual learning, and it can lead to increased screen time. Trend number four, hybrid learning models. Hybrid learning combines in-person and online education. Studies indicate that hybrid learning can improve academic performance by up to 15%. And the COVID-19 pandemic accelerated the adoption of hybrid models, demonstrating their effectiveness. A survey by the EdTech company D2L showed that 73% of educators believe hybrid learning will continue to play a significant role. This model provides flexibility for both students and teachers and makes education more accessible to diverse learners. However, the reliance on technology requires reliable internet access. Additionally, keeping students engaged online can be challenging. EdTech trend number five, adaptive learning technology. Adaptive learning technologies use data analytics to tailor educational content to individual student needs. Research shows adaptive learning can increase student performance by up to 25%. Platforms like Smart Sparrow and Newton offer personalized learning experiences by adjusting content based on student performance and learning style. This technology ensures personalized learning, leading to higher student performance and engagement. 
On the other side, the development and implementation costs are high, and there are concerns about data privacy and security. EdTech trend number six, mobile first learning. With mobile device usage skyrocketing, mobile first learning platforms are essential, especially in remote and underserved areas. A 2023 survey revealed that 60% of students preferred learning on mobile devices over desktops. Baiju's, for instance, has seen tremendous growth with over 100 million downloads, demonstrating the demand for mobile-friendly educational content. Mobile-first learning offers the flexibility to learn on the go and increases accessibility in remote areas. However, it can lead to increased screen time and potential distractions. Additionally, the quality of devices and internet access can vary greatly. EdTech trend number seven, pre-testing for better retention. Pre-testing or testing students before they learn new material helps in better retention and understanding. Cognitive science research supports this approach, showing significant improvements in long-term retention. A study by the University of California found that students who underwent pre-testing performed 10 to 15% better in subsequent exams compared to those who did not. This technique primes the brain to recognize and retain new information more effectively, making it a powerful tool for educators. Pre-testing improves retention and understanding, enhancing overall cognitive engagement. However, it requires additional time for testing, and some students may experience anxiety about pretests. EdTech trend number eight, tactile learning resurgence. Yes, there's a growing pushback against excessive screen time, of course, leading to a resurgence in hands-on learning methods like pen and paper assignments. These methods can enhance cognitive development and memory retention, such as taking notes by hand. Studies have shown that writing by hand can improve comprehension and recall more effectively than typing. Research from Princeton University found that students who took handwritten notes scored higher on conceptual questions than those who typed their notes. So tactile learning enhances comprehension and memory retention, reducing digital fatigue, but it requires physical materials and space. And there may be resistance to traditional methods from those accustomed to using digital tools. EdTech trend number nine, cloud-based education platforms. Cloud computing supports seamless access to educational resources and collaborative tools. By 2025, it's expected that over 70% of educational institutions will rely on cloud-based platforms for daily operations. Platforms like Google Classroom, Microsoft Teams, provide centralized locations for course materials, assignments, and communication. A survey by EdTech Magazine found that 85% of educators believe cloud-based tools improve collaboration and accessibility. So cloud platforms offer seamless access and improve collaboration, making them scalable for educational institutions. But a dependence on internet connectivity and data security concerns are significant drawbacks. And finally, trend number 10, data-driven instruction. Using data analytics to inform teaching strategies helps in personalizing education and addressing individual student needs. A 2023 report highlights that data-driven instruction can increase student achievement by up to 20%. Tools like BrightBytes and Tableau Education analyze student data by providing insights on performance trends and learning gaps. So data-driven instruction allows for personalized education and targeted interventions, improving student outcomes. But proper data management and interpretation are essential. And there are privacy concerns and risks of data misuse. Well, there you have it. 10 exciting EdTech trends that are shaping the future of education. Please check out the links below this video to access full lists of EdTech tools and downloadable guides for online teachers to use. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights on the latest in EdTech. See you next time.